How's it going, y'all? Back with new damn video. Let's get right down to it. We're gonna talk about it. It's back, baby. It's back. We're back in damn business. Birds are back at it, and football as a whole is back at it. And that's all I care about. Not just the Eagles. The NFL in general is back, and we are coming at these motherfuckers early. Let's go. So people have been asking me, oh, man, where you been, blah, 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 blah. Working my ass off, man. Working like a son of a bitch. Working my tail off. You know, I ain't got much time to be, you know, lag, you know, bullshitting around and pussyfooting on the, on the, on the uh, videos. But, you know, I, I try my best to get them out there. And, and I, you know, I try to keep up with these other guys, you know. But I can't, but I do what I can. But let's just get on to business. You know, this preseason game comes up tomorrow. I can't wait. I really can't. Uh. There's a lot of guys I'm just excited to see. Because if you remember last year, because of COVID, they, they just canceled the preseason in general, just canceled it. Uh, went right to, you know, week one, and it was our starters just out there. So some guys you were hoping to see get more time, didn't get it until later in the season, of course, because we had a losing season, of course. Uh, you know, uh, a lot of people are saying they're excited to see Nick Seriani finally, you know, new head coach, the Eagles finally coach. And I'm saying, well, listen, 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 pump the brakes. Because we can play like trash, but you can't judge them off a, a few preseason games. Uh, what is it, three now? You can't judge them off that, even this one on Thursday, because he's going to be vanilla uh, game planning. Unless he really is, you know, a stooge. I don't think he is, but if he's a stooge, he's going to sit there and pull the, all the game plans out and try to impress everybody calling all these wild plays. I don't see it happening, though. He's smarter than that. Every NFL coach knows that, whether you're a coach already or you are, you haven't been or you're in the beginning to become one, blah, blah, you get it. But I am excited to see how maybe he, you know, does some stuff. Uh, definitely want to see Jalen Hurts. That's one thing. You know, th there was a guy, you know, this is a guy, you know, we drafted the quarterback you know, in the second round a couple years ago or, what, a year ago. It was, oh, what the hell, blah, blah, blah. We were all, like, not upset. We thought it was a waste to pick. Now it looks like he's going to be the starter unless something happens with that, the whole Desh Deshaun Watson situation, which I can get into in a whole different damn video. But I will say this. I'm excited to see him a little bit. We don't know how much he's going to play because he probably is the starting quarterback week one. Uh, but Nick Seriani did make a statement and said the limits on Hurts and the starting offense depends on how they look. So, for example, if they go right down the field, boom, 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 score a touchdown, he's probably going to take all the starters out, uh, which we'll see what happens. Um, but I am excited to see him. I see how his work ethic is off the chain. It's phenomenal. Everything, every single thing I see about him, every single day I just go on Twitter or go online, it's just about his work ethic. And it's not even the Eagles fans hyping it up or Eagles media. It's people from outside the Philadelphia market. I'm like, wow, okay, this guy must really take it serious. He really wants to be great. We'll see what he can do. We'll see. Uh, I am excited uh, kind of to see Jalen Reggard. I mean, because if they're going to put some of the starters out there, you're going to see more of him. Yeah, we saw most of him last year, but he was hurt a little bit, yada, yada. But with Devontae Smith being out, you're going to see a lot of him. Uh, Derek Barnett kind of a little bit. You know, I already know what he's about, but he's been hurt kind of left and right. The real guys I'm really excited for are these guys like, you know, Kenneth Gainwell, we drafted. If he's going to seize time, if he is, probably be the fourth quarter or third quarter or more like the week three preseason game, you'll probably see more of him is when you'll see the guy. So, but, you know, throughout the th – what if they have him – I don't care if they have a kick return, punt return, or they just put him out there as a running back plus – he can catch it, you know, out of the backfield. Uh, can't wait to see him. Uh, I think it's this guy. Uh, what's I, I, I might mess up his name, but it is, I know his last name is Jackson. Jackson off the top of my head, I'm screwing right now, but it's a uh, Tyrell Jackson, I think it is, or Tyree Tyree Jackson. You know, he's converted from quarterback to tight end. They said he had some of the most targets throughout the camp uh, and catches, 19 out of 22. Uh, not the whole camp, but out of a few camps lately, and he plays tight end. I could literally see him making the team, and I, but I really want to see him in action during these few preseason games. That's what I really, really want to see because, like I said, you know, I heard he's bowling out, and I could see them carrying. I honestly could see them carrying four tight ends. I mean, if I look at last year with the Colts, I think they carried three or four or something like that around there. And I think even last year, did we with Doug? I can't remember. But I know there's Dallas Goddard and Zach Ertz and blah, blah. Um I was excited as hell to see Kevon Wallace, but I guess I'm not going to see him because he supposedly got hurt today or yesterday. Whatever. We'll see him, though. Eventually, one of these games, we will. Um, there's a lot of guys, though. I mean, I even look at, uh, what was it, Devin or Devontae Taylor? I mean, a guy who we took last year, didn't get to see much of because, once again, COVID, didn't play preseason. So he was 
We did get thrusted in for a few snaps or like for a game or so last year, but it was so pathetic last year. We didn't even care. Didn't even pay attention too much. Really want to see what he can do. And there's many other young guys, you know. And this is why a lot of people are saying to me, oh, I'm so happy this preseason's shorter. I'm so happy because, you know, the fourth preseason game, you know it's officially just, yo, all the, all the backups are out there. But I said I look at it from the lens of players trying to get jobs, not just for the Eagles, for any NFL team. It lengthens their chance of getting a damn job or getting on the 53-man roster or even on the practice squad because they don't have any time to play. You know what I'm saying? I'm, talking about, I'm not talking about the guys drafted. I'm talking about the guys who were drafted two years prior or, the year prior, or undrafted, you know, trying to come in. Um, but we'll see, you know. Uh, there's some, I mean, man, uh, Josh Sweat, I like to see him, but we already know what he's about. He should have been starting. You know, we already know he does. they do the rotation thing. We'll see what they do now. Under uh, Jonathan Gannon might be different, but yeah, I I'm just excited for it all. Uh, definitely for these young guys, and because a lot of these guys, yeah, we knew in the draft we took Devontae Smith. We know he's gonna be a week one starter, no doubt about it. He's not gonna play because he's hurt right now. He's week one starter, no doubt about it. You know, and the other guys we took, we know they're gonna not be week ones, but they're gonna be you know there. But the other guys, like a couple corners we took late. I want to see what they got. We took a hell of defensive players, you know, defensive ends and stuff like that. And uh, I can't wait to see them, you know, because they're going to get a lot of time throughout these few couple weeks. But uh, I don't know. You guys let me know how you feel below. Let's go, birds. Fly goes fly. I'm uh, happy to be back, and uh, I'm pumped up for this stuff, man. I mean, at first I was really low on the Eagles. Like I was like, forget this, man. They're going to have a terrible season, this and that. They might be because, you know, it's a first-year head coach, this and that. But the way it's looking for me so far, I'm actually a little excited just to see how it goes and how things work. Well, of course, I'm a fan. But my expectations weren't that high. And I'm not saying they are high now, but I'm thinking, man, we'll see. We'll talk about it later. Go, Birds, Fly, Fly, comment below on your thoughts. Who you rated, Who do you want to see the most in this in this preseason, this first game? And also maybe throughout this whole three preseason games. Go, Birds, I'm out. Enjoy. Like this video, subscribe, and comment below on your thoughts. Also, you can follow me on Twitter right there. You can see it right to hell. Oh, sorry, right there. Yeah. <laughs> Go, Birds, I'm out.